We have been talking with some of the uh, great athletes with USA Shooting as we get ready for the 2012 Olympic Games. And right now in Tucson, Arizona, we've got the, uh, two, the World Cup event taking place. Uh, very pleased to have with us on the program, uh, Caitlin Barney-Weinheimer, who is uh, leading Olympic selections heading into the uh, May Olympic trials. Caitlin, good evening. Hello, how are you doing tonight? I am great. Thanks for coming on the show today. I really appreciate it. Not a problem at all. Uh, all right, well, first of all, let's, let's ask how are things going at the uh, World Cup in Tucson? You know, things are going really good out here. Been training all week with the men and women's trap team, and I think we're all amped up and ready for this event. And, in fact, our doubles trap just won a bronze medal, Josh Richmond, and he'll be representing us at the 2012 Games, so that's pretty cool. Nice. That is fantastic. Uh, and so the, 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 the team is starting to shape up now, right? Yes, sir. Uh, I believe we'll we'll have a pretty strong, strong match going into this one, and I know everybody's really looking forward to this year, and everybody's really, really looking forward to the Olympic Games and hoping to put on a great show for our nation. Well, absolutely, uh, and you know, I, I know that uh, again, uh, going into the, uh, the the May Olympic trials, right now you are leading the Olympic selection. Uh, what does this World Cup event mean to you, Caitlin? Well, you know, uh, sitting here on our home turf in the U.S., you definitely want to put on a good show and and make sure you represent your country well. And for me personally, it's a chance to be able to get on the range that we're going to be shooting at for the Olympic trials and get put under pressure and see how I can work the range and work my own routine. And uh, it's a good a good test run for the Olympic trials, but it's also got a good amount of pressure because you definitely want to win a medal on your home turf. Well, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, I got to say, when we talk about student athletes in this uh, society and a lot of times the emphasis is on uh, athlete and not just student. You are a, a senior at, at Shriner University. Is that right? Yes, sir. And I understand that despite uh, of being an international competitor, you are on the president's list for academic excellence there. Yes, sir. Uh, shooting's one of those sports where it's an individual and a team level sport. But on the individual level, it pushes responsibility and respect of everybody and yourself. So shooting's definitely been something that's driven me to do well, not just in shooting, but in all areas of my life. So, I mean, honestly, this is a, a, a legitimate question. How do you find the time, Caitlin? You are a student. You are an international competitor. You're married, so you've got a, uh, a home life as well. Do you ever sleep? Sometimes. <laughs> oh. A lot of it's just time management, and I have to say I have an awesome support base at home. Shriner University does wonders for me when I travel. Uh, it's a nice private university. All my pre professors email me. They're super supportive, and I honestly couldn't do it if I didn't have that support structure in place, and it's just amazing how how that community is just catered to my, my dreams, both academically and in the international shooting arena. Well, and it sounds so I'm like, very thankful for that. I mean, it sounds like you're not just uh, participating in, in academic life there at Shriner as well. You're the president of the Shriner Shooting Sports Society. Uh, what, what? Tell me about this organization. Uh, Shriner has uh, what we call a club sport on the team. Yeah. And uh, I actually had to step down as president this year because I was traveling so much. But it's a great sport uh, to have on campus because what I personally love about it is that we have about five to seven kids that came into the team competitively from, like, high school or 4-H programs. But we have about seven other kids on the team that shoot competitively now that never had before the college level. And then we have another additional 15 kids that found out about the club, and they just shoot recreationally. Yeah. So at, on Shriner campus, at any given time, you have around 30 kids who are amped up and excited about the outdoor and shooting world that are talking to their professors and their peers about it and actively getting people to participate more and more about it. So it's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Uh, now you got, I, I know you didn't get started in the 4-H program, but, but you were uh, very big in the 4-H shooting sports uh, program in high school, right? Yeah, I, uh, I got started out hunting with my dad and uh, ended up going out to the range one day and... Shooting just kind of took off from there. Did well my first time, went out to a competition, and 
my local 4-H saw me at the competition and said, hey, you should come out and shoot with us and try it out, and I just fell in love with the sport. That is so cool. So, I mean, when you when you think about uh, what programs like, you know, the 4-H shooting sports program, JROTC, even Boy Scouts uh, and Girl Scouts, I mean, would would – would you, thinking back to when you were a teenager, uh, is this something that you would encourage other teens to do? Is this something you'd encourage parents to, uh, to, to, to try to get their, uh, their, their kids involved in, the, the shooting sports? Absolutely. Um, people don't realize how much it influences your life, as opposed to other sports or activities where I may have been gone all the time. I had such a wide support base you had I was around my dad all the time and you're doing activities with people and it's encouraging them to not only strive for excellence in shooting but shooting requires emotional discipline it requires rational thought it encourages you to respect yourself and others and it goes into all areas of your life I've known kids that have gotten involved in the shooting sports that it completely changed their lives and they went on to go on to college and opened up so many doors that they never thought were available to them before. That is fantastic. Well, listen, Caitlin, I know that uh, tomorrow is going to be a busy day. Uh, I wish you the very best of luck, and thank you so much for coming on the program tonight. It is fantastic getting a chance to talk to you. I hope we can do it again. Thank you very much, and thank you for all your support.